What's going on guys? It is Straw Hat Goofy with another YouTube video for you guys and I'm super excited because today we have a brand new trailer for The Batman. Now The Batman is one of my most anticipated movies of next year right there along with uh, the new Flash movie with Multiverse of Madness all those things and I'm super excited to kind of finally get this film that's coming out. It's been pushed back for months and months and months. It was actually supposed to come out this year I believe in October or something like that but they pushed it back to I believe March. Can't remember the date, but we're gonna find out at the end of this trailer. It's funny, this trailer this trailer couldn't have come at a weirder time because right we're all talking about spider-man no way home right now that's all the conversation is about so for dc to kind of drop this and kind of keep their names relevant you gotta you gotta respect the balls on them I, I respect it a lot what i'm hoping for in this trailer i honestly don't know hoping to see some more of catwoman hoping to see some more of catwoman and batman's relationship uh, obviously you have the penguin penguin looked really good from the last trailer but really i want to see some more riddler because we've been getting a lot of kind of like little peaks and little uh nuggets of riddler but we haven't really seen anything beyond his signature question mark so hopefully we get more riddler hopefully we get more of the uh riddles of Bat that batman is going to try and solve i know this is taking more of uh a david fincher style seven approach to batman which is something that i personally have been needing from a batman film i feel like a lot of the other batman films haven't really honed in on the detective part how he's like one of the smartest minds in the dc universe so it's cool to see Batman punch people really hard, but uh, I, I'm attracted to Batman just strictly for his mind. So to get a lot of that in this trailer, that's what I'm hoping to see. And Riddler is the perfect foil. Like, obviously, we had Jim Carrey, but Jim Carrey didn't necessarily challenge Batman in that way. It was very, like, hammy, very uh, uh, cheesy, uh, very tongue-in-cheek, B-movie type stuff. So I can't wait to see this, like, taken seriously in this film. But without further ado, let's check out the trailer and see what we got. Bruce Wayne. I'm gonna turn that down. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but Who's your that? people keep telling me you're unavailable. Emotionally and physically. <laughs> you know, you really could be doing more for this city. Yeah, you can. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. Who is this? Is this like Renee Montoya? This thing is so sweet, Jesus. That car flipped. <laughs> the Riddler. He's yeah. For you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? They finally said his name. You came. I've been trying to reach you. Okay. It's all about the Waynes. Very Saw-like. Don't stand up. No one will. You got a lot of cats. Everything <laughs> about strays. <laughs> You got a lot of gas. It's got a nice ring. You new friend of yours? Bat and cat, I like it. I'm not so sure. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. You're okay. part of this too. Hands up! Stay still! How am I part of this? Dun dun. Oh, you're really Why does this sound like Darth Vader? As I thought you were. Yes. Way. Oh, he knows the identity. Okay. Lied to me, Alfred. We all have our scars, Bruce. He's still away. He's involved in this. Oh, he's not involved. How do you know? Except for Delaney. I like this. I like this. What are you hiding? He reveals his identity to her. This this trailer's showing a lot. I got nine of them. Hey. Okay. Okay. Can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Okay. Justice. The answer is justice. Come on, vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. I like how there's mistrust for Batman. I like that. Okay, it's getting really Batman right now. It's getting really Batman right now. I love it. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, let's go back, let's go back. Let's go back to like halfway. Let's the bat and the cat. New friend I like it. I, I like that they're acknowledging the bat and the cat. I'm just here to unmask the this is very Saw-like. Like anybody else getting like a jigsaw feel? part of this too. Hands up! Stay still! How am I part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Bruce Wayne. 
the fact that he knows his identity that's i love that in most in most superhero films it will be like oh they don't know the identity again we'll have our scars bruce he's still away he's involved in this oh he's not I like this How do you know? the back and forth the the paranoia what are you hiding selena don't throw your life away don't worry honey i got nine of them <laughs> that's a good line don't throw your life away i got nine of them it can be cruel poetic or blind the riddle when it's denied it's your violence you may find justice justice the answer is justice yes <laughs> come on vengeance let's get into some trouble i just i i it looks like this relationship is going to be at the forefront and i dig it That look though, that look though, like that look right there is just like, yeah, I'm the Batman. That was Robert Pattinson looking to us and going, I'm the Batman, bro. Like, I, I love that. Oh, I dig it. I dig it. I dig this trailer. I think it shows a little too much because uh, we know that, you know, obviously if you read the comics, you know that Batman, Bruce Wayne shows his identity to Selena Kyle and vice versa. And that's, you know, that's what makes their relationship so great. But I would have liked to have seen that in the film itself. But it seems that the bat and cat relationship is going to be a forefront of this movie, which I'm super excited to see. Um, the, the, the mind games between the Riddler and Bruce Wayne, the you're not as thought as I thought you were. Like, I, I dig that. I dig that a lot. And it, it seems to imply that they're not only taking like a seven approach but more of like a saw approach because seeing the guys show up with the phone and everything with the duct tape it just seems like almost like a jigsaw trap in a way but it it looks pretty it looks pretty great we got less of the penguin so i don't know if that means we're getting less penguin than we thought we were gonna get it's hard to tell what exactly is going to be the focus of the movie right because in the first trailer we got the penguin which led us to believe that the penguin was the big focus of the big bad or not the big bad but obviously like the penguin was a big focus along with the riddler now this is like all in on the riddler himself it's it's really intriguing to see like who's gonna be the primary antagonist it seems that from this trailer the penguin's gonna be the secondary but uh but at the end of the day this seems to be a Bruce and Selena Kyle story with like they both teaming up to pretty much take down the Riddler, which is really cool. Now, another question that I have is like, I always thought this was like a year one type of situation. You know, obviously Robert Pattinson's pretty young to be Bruce Wayne. So we would assume that this Batman is kind of like in the first year, maybe first couple years of him being a vigilante. So that's why he's not really like, you know, the most experienced just yet it also does have like that paranoia of the cops uh of not knowing whether they can trust batman or not i still think this might be a year one batman or you know a couple years of a, a batman who's beginning a batman who begins in this situation but it honestly it, it, the fact that this trailer shows a lot but i still have a lot of questions on how this movie is going to happen that's pretty good it's pretty good it's not like bad questions either it's not like oh is this movie gonna work i really do feel like this movie is going to work i feel like that last trailer that we got was setting up more of aesthetic and tone and you know it already got me on board for that but this trailer is setting is getting more into the story the more of the character relationships right the uh selena and bruce relationship the relationship between bruce and riddler who knows his identity which is like pretty great uh not a great thing to do though if you're just starting out as batman and the first villain you fight knows your identity is kind of weird right but there's a lot to like about this there is a lot to like about this trailer and i can't wait to like really dive into uh the movie once it comes out it's, it should be it should be really dope but anyway guys that is the batman trailer have you guys seen it what do you guys think about it are you going to be watching the batman when it releases in theaters or hbo max i know it's going to get an hbo max release maybe like a month or so or a couple weeks after it comes out in theaters so let me know are you excited for this do you think it's going to be the best batman movie of all time let me know in the comments down below and also if you guys like what i do on this channel if you like what i do on tiktok or any other social media platform make sure you follow me on all those things make sure you hit subscribe make sure you hit the like and hit the little bell to get notified for my latest videos and uh, yeah you guys take care